Hello, and welcome to Examine Earth. This is an introduction to the playlist that accompanies my chemistry course. The playlist targets the high school level, but if you have an interest in the science of matter on our planet, then this playlist is for you. The internet is full of fantastic learning resources, but there's also some bad info and even outright lies. I have sorted through all of that to assemble this list of quality videos that complement the topics that we address in class. Most of the videos are made by other creators, although I have included some of my original content to fill some gaps. But what exactly is chemistry? Chemistry is about matter. So what is matter? Nothing. What's the matter with you? Sorry, that's a bad science joke. <clears throat> Anyways, matter is basically everything. What are the fundamental building blocks of matter? How do different substances interact with each other? How do they combine to form new substances or change into other things? What controls these reactions and how do they impact our lives? Chemistry literally keeps us alive. It's happening inside you right now. If you're a student, you may not care much about this slide, but the playlist topics are aligned to both national and New York State learning standards. This course is also aligned the New Visions curriculum, which was designed over the course of many years by a team of educators. There is a video or videos for most of the core ideas, which are the base knowledge of the concepts within each of the sciences. Now, of course, knowing is only half the battle. You must also apply these concepts by doing science and seeing how it connects to other areas. But you can't apply concepts that you don't understand. So that's the purpose of this playlist. It's to serve as a supplement to a traditional classroom course or as the foundations of a homeschool course. In addition to the playlist videos, you'll probably want to explore these core ideas further. The CK12 organization has made it their mission to provide free open access education materials that are accessible to all. This is the general structure of their so-called Flexbook. It's a digital textbook, but it also has some more interactive elements. Teachers or even parents can assign readings, activities, and quizzes. So it's really more of an educational platform. In addition to the CK12 resources, I'd also highly recommend Khan Academy and YouTube's Crash Course series. I'll put the links to these in the description below. All these online resources can really provide you with some extra help if you're struggling or just looking for a little extra practice. Sometimes it just helps to hear it from someone else or in a different way. This is the general course outline, which is the rough order of the videos in the playlist. I have also provided a chapter number from the Flexbook for each topic. The whole idea here is that we're covering a topic in class and you miss a day or you just didn't get it. Here's an additional resource. The course roughly follows Angelica Stacy's Living by Chemistry, which focuses on applied chemistry in our everyday experiences. We begin with a history of chemistry all the way back to the days of alchemy. How do we define matter? How do we measure it? What's it made of? What controls how these things combine and interact? We then dive into the important properties of matter and what controls them. Smell and taste are two chemical properties that we routinely experience. Next, we explore how matter changes phase and how the chemistry of gases impacts our weather and climate. We discuss how some chemicals are essential for life and yet some are deadly. What are the rules that govern these reactions? We examine energy and heat transfer, the science of how a heat pack heats and a cool pack cools, the dramatic oxidation reaction of fire or the slow browning of an apple or rusting of a car. Just how does a battery work anyways? Finally, we look at some of the flashier chemical reactions in nuclear chemistry, fermentation, and even soap making. Once you've watched some videos or you're nearing the end of your course, you can even test yourself. New York State provides years worth of past regions exams and the answer keys. The reference table is another excellent resource and you can even use it during the actual exam. Even if you're not in New York State, these exams are a great way to test your knowledge. If you notice some weak spots, well, that's the entire point of practice. You can go back to the playlist or Flexbook or wherever else and brush up your skills. Learning is a process. It takes time and effort and it can definitely be frustrating. But as long as you're moving forward and you don't give up, you will reach your goals. The entire point of this channel is to help people find science topics that interest them and provide a helping hand along the way. If you think this playlist might help you, it'll probably help other people too. If you like this video, share the playlist and subscribe to the channel. It'll help me to help them. That's all for now. Thanks for stopping in to examine Earth.